We're trying to elaborate here. All right, all right. We're not going by script. Number 16. Rina, you are photogenic. Extremely. People always tell me, oh, is your friend model? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you know, when people take pictures, they're like, oh, oh, geez, no, no, don't take a picture of me. But then you are always ready. You're just like, yeah. Exactly, like, I see right there. <laughs> you got this, like, printed on your face. Mm -hmm. Number 15. You are the most caring and loving person that I've ever met. You hug everyone. If anyone's crying, you're the first one there. <laughs> Birthdays. Oh, is it my birthday? Oh, you get this huge, so. huge oh, text, all that kind of stuff. And then for Asia's birthday, you basically said that you're gonna hug her the whole day. Number 14. I love how you are so friendly. You can be friends basically about anybody. I mean, I think everyone in this room can attest to that. Okay, number 13. I love how you are so energetic and up for anything. I like to be outside. I love to run around, dance, and do such. And you are always willing to do that with me. Dance, run around, and such. Like, there will be times when it's raining outside or, like, negative two degrees. But you're, you're <laughs> always willing to go outside with me, go for a walk, especially when I really need it. Yeah. You're very... Your spirit's uplifting and such, especially when I'm in a bad mood and gotta love that energy. <laughs> Number 12. When we first became friends freshman year at the freshman camping trip, fun, fun, fun. Um, it was really early in the morning and everyone was sleeping and our coordinator, Kenny, what's his face? He had to go get food, the main base, and I went with him, but I didn't want to go alone because that guy was kind of creepy. And so I woke everyone up and no one wanted to go with me, but you volunteered to go with me. And that was really nice of you. Uh, well, kind of a bad thing though, because we kind of ran into bears along the way. But we were going through these Japanese, like, Burberry bushes, all prickly, all over the place. They made me and Paul and Ian go through to see what was on the other side, because we were just lost. Of course I was there, of course we got lost. And I came back and I had like the branches and all over stuck in my hair and you stayed behind to help. It took the entire three days to get them out, but you, every time I felt a prick or something like that, you'd be like, oh here, let me get that, and you just like, mmm. So thank you for that. Because of you, my hair is branch free. Number 11. The first time we became friends was freshman year. I know you remember because you always bring it up. It was when we were in the library after school and we had our deep conversation. All this school drama that we were both were dealing with and we were so amazed that we both shared the same connection of just dealing with all these disappointments and it was in the beginning of the year even. And from then on, we realized that we could cry to each other, we could always come to each other for everything and so I'm grateful for that. Number 10. We love how you are not ashamed to be our best friends. Yes. Or to be seen with us, period. Let's uh, remind you of this whole year in Spanish class. Uh -huh. Where uh, we just never stopped uh, laughing. And, and you never felt like you should like betray us. And like not... Um, we would laugh in sync. Like dead on in sync. And there were, everyone would just look at us. You like, were always you would be like, to us. You'd be like... These are my best friends, yep. and we'd be all, that's right. Yep. And then in acting class, you know how me and Kevin would always laugh and sink, and you'd just be like, yep, those are my friends. What mm -hmm. can I say? That you was, wrote like a lot, though. Like a, Number nine, a simple hags just won't do for you. Nope, no, no, it won't. You have to take the whole page with a hey Ryan bigger than baby's thumb. Exactly. Shall we show? Yep. Yeah. Last year. This whole page. This See that? See that? Read this page right here. Mm -hmm. Rena's page. Look at that. Got it. Oh, so much to write about. Is so many memories we probably don't remember. Yes, but thank you anyway. <laughs> thank you. It's very simple. We love you. Like I who says hags. I really have a great summer. My ass. Number eight. Hey, Rena, you're so. You're like you're like so deep. Um. You're the only person I can really cry with. I, I don't have to feel embarrassed because I know you won't judge me and that at the end of the day you'll just understand. I can't tell you how many times I've just fallen into your arms and just cried and knew everything was going to be okay. Thank you for that. Like, um, there was this one time in Spanish class, we had a substitute, Miss... whatever, that's not important. Um, <laughs> um, we were just, I don't... We were talking about past relationships and just simply life. That's another thing. I'm talking about... Okay, I did have the life part. Okay. Um, 
and I just I just started crying in the middle of class and you started crying we were just holding each other and we were just crying and that was to us that was totally okay miss whatever was looking at us like oh my god do you need to go to the nurse but yeah I knew it was okay and just thank you for making me feel like yeah that that everything was gonna be okay okay I'm good number seven Every class that we have, you just make the class so much fun. We survived Ganji this year, Jarvis Ed this year, and we had a blast in acting camp. And at, just at camp, at class, acting class. Do you remember the time, like, in Jarvis Ed, when we were just joking around, we were just saying, how are we going to drive this thing? I mean, how are we going to drive a car? I mean, can you Period. imagine just being in the car together? I mean, we would just we'd have a mass accident. Remember all those times that Jasmine and me would get let out of Mr. Saunders' class early and we'd be like, hmm, what are we going to do now? And <laughs> we'd run immediately with a sudden quickness, just run up to Miss Ganji's class. And of course, you'd be sitting there, even though you knew what was going to happen. You'd be sitting <laughs> at the window and we'd, we'd do somersaults, attempt to do splits, cartwheels, and such failed attempts, I might add. <laughs> and you'd just burst out laughing and... You know, Mr. Ganji would get kind of, Miss Ganji would get kind of ticked off at you, but you know what? You still tolerate them. Yes, you to You didn't get angry with them. Uh-huh. You uh, still need to laugh. I love how you tolerate us and our freakiness. Thank you so much. Okay, number six. I love how we get stuck in these messed up total movie moment situations. We went to Brianna's Sweet Sixteen. Hey, Brianna. Um... <laughs> And we got stuck in the boys' bathroom. We were trying to call Annette. We realized that we were on a boat and there was no way that we could get a signal. The door wouldn't open. Oh, relapsing. Okay. I was freaking out. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna jump through the window. I'm gonna jump through the toilet. The room is closing in. I need to get out of here. You kept me calm the entire time. Only you can keep me so calm. Even though, like, you were freaking out trying to open the door, which you eventually did. Thank god totally save the day. Thanks to you, I'm here. Number five. This is something that I'm just, I'm horrible at, but you're so good at. Whenever you come face to face with a problem, like literally, when, when you know you've done something wrong, you don't just sit around and wait to see what happens next. You always face the person face to face. You, you apologize. You always have a good speech and everything. You were always so good with words. Yeah, that takes a lot of guts and a lot of bravery, and I think it's just, it's just wonderful. It's just amazing. Number four. I'm so excited it's your birthday party because I just want to tell you how much I sincerely love you. I mean, for two years, we have grown as the closest friends I think you and I have ever had. I mean, I can always look up to you for as, um, one of thick and thin and... For the worst part of my life, you were there. You were the main one there. And I know that you are so into my family and my family just loves you. And they always comment that it's like, oh my god, like she just I I love that she loves you. And I love that you love me. And I know that you love that I love you. That makes sense. Um but yeah, I mean just it's amazing how just how even though we're so young, I can seriously think of you as one of these lifetime friends that I will never lose in my whole entire life. And that, that, that means a lot. <laughs> oh, Kevin! Alright, I'm going to leave the room. Oh, and you can do whatever you want. Say whatever you want. I don't know how to, though. Then say that. I don't know okay. how to say this, but... Go outside with a net. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Wait, what number is this one? Uh, number three. Okay. Number three, Rena. Words, words can't describe this one, but I'm going to try really hard to. Um, Rena, I don't know how many times I've told you this. I really mean it. I, I look up to you like a big sister. We're more than just friends. We're soul sisters and. You know I'm not exactly the best with, you know, just facing my fears and solving my own problems. 
I've always been one to help other people with their problems, and I've, I've never been good at solving my own. And I've, I'm so lucky to always have had you there to help me with that. And it's not even that you didn't know what to say at times, you always knew what to say. And just... <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do without you next year. You're gonna get phone calls from me every night. And I'm gonna miss you so much. You know, I'm just gonna add to that one, I think. I don't know, Kevin, you can like edit or something. You always knew what was wrong, too. I never had to explain myself. And even if I explained myself, and you said you knew, you know, I never had the doubt that you didn't really know that you really didn't know how I felt because you really did and I felt that. You're so brave. You're so brave for yourself and for me. And you're everything that I could want a big sister and so much more. Rena. Thank you. I know it's not that much, but... Just... Thank you. Number two. You are always very stylish. You come to school with the nicest stuff, the best stuff I think I saw on a girl. When you're a model, everything looks good. Number one! Is it with a Reno? So, <laughs> you know we had to remind you of your um, attempt at stepping. Had this one as well. You know what it is. You know Don't what it is. Don't deny. Black deny. History Month banquet. Someone felt the need to share in the dancing spirit. Uh, you sound for that. <laughs> that was you. That was, that was you. Exactly. <laughs> you. Everyone laughed and was looking at you. I mean, Rita. really. I mean, really. I mean, usually you're a good dancer, but <laughs> Asia's step was better than that. 